Hey everyone and welcome back to Days Gone. On this video, we're gonna clear out the Bear Creek Hot Springs Ambush Camp. And it's really just up the road, uh, somewhere in here. So we don't have far to go. Uh, this way. Vagrant camp. Bastards have been ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? Alright, so the camp's right up there. Let's find a way to sneak in. Now, I'm pretty sure they have a sniper, so we're gonna have to be aware of that. Ooh, and I thought I had more pistol shots. Well, let's put a suppressor on. Okay, got those, and yep, I just saw the sniper over there. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. A bunch of rapists and murderers. Alright, so we want to watch out for traps. There's definitely traps. In fact, there's two bear traps right there. see anybody oh there we go hello All right. one down how many of you are left huh yes. all right now one thing we need to do is Got it. Um, loot human corpses um, you have to loot an absurd amount of items, something like 500 throughout the game, so that's something we're going to be working on for a long time. If somebody has supplies I'm full on, I'll just craft something and make sure I can pick it up. Now, I know I can get this guy, but the question is, will the sniper see me? And I think the answer is no. Let me make sure he gets behind the rock first, though. Alright, this should work. We'll worry about looting these corpses after. I don't want to get caught out in the open. Alright, so we've killed two, but there's still 13 to go. Just saw a flashlight over there. What the heck? Oh, swinging corpse. I thought somebody was bugged out. Alright, should be able to sneak up on this guy without any problems. As long as nobody's looking down, which they aren't. These guys don't watch each other's backs very well. He did. Well, guess I'll check this one. And he had an attractor, good. And you know what? Uh, people have recommended that I switch to the SAF as like my main gun. And at first I thought it was silly. Like, why would I do that? This thing's like impossible to aim. But after practicing with it for a while, I uh, actually agree with them. It's very easy to shoot a single bullet at a time. And you can hold like 50 bullets, so I think it's worth it. Even though I just lost some ammo picking that up. But that's alright. <laughs> Shank the corpse. Nice, he's giving me Stop stuff I need. Oh crap! Ah uh, crap! Ow! Oh, on, Pull back. Crap! Pull back. You like stabbing him in the back, huh? That right? You like this? Yeah, if they saw me. Or wait, what? Uh. Okay, I'm a little confused. She saw it. But didn't see it. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. I'm somehow still safe. I guess they're just used to their friends dying for no reason. <laughs> Alright, 
He either had nothing, or I picked something up and it didn't tell me what it was. Not sure which. What's that? It's me! Okay, so we need a rag for this one. We'll take care of that by making a bandage. However, I'll have to use one. However, I can't use one because I am not missing any health. So I guess instead we'll make a Molotov. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess I should take some damage. I guess a good way to take damage is just to fight. See what happens. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna have to fight seven people. Oh, someone up there. Uh, regaining stealth. If you've been spotted by an enemy, get out of their line of sight and hide. They'll eventually give up the search. They just shoot their friend and they give up. Seems kind of strange. Something's here. Sniper? I'm not a sniper. Alright, let me take off the uh, suppressor on this. Ah! Shoot at me, will ya? Take that! Figures I'm actually shooting well now. I actually need to take damage! As silly as that sounds. Side, move it! He shot me! He shot me! Take that! These guys suck. Actually, you know what? I don't have to take damage. I could just throw a Molotov. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna throw a Molotov. Who wants a Molotov? You want a Molotov! Isn't that fun? Let's put it right there. What? Didn't do anything? Oh wait, no, I think I got him. Yeah, if he's burning. Good, that guy had armor too. Alright, I'm actually gonna take a shot. Shoot me! Well, actually, let me wait till I get down to one. And... Boom! Oh, terrible shot. And I'm out of ammo. Got him. These guys are terrible. Okay, there we go. I took damage. Yay. Alright, use a bandage. Yay. Oh crap! Oh no no. Oh god. That was actually kinda of scary. That probably would have killed me. What do you have for me, buddy? Rag. Alright, I didn't make a new one. Give me a rag, please. Thank you. All right, I have two shots and two enemies. No, I got you. He's got oh yeah, you got me now, huh? I don't think so. Oh, he's got a helmet. Is that what happened? Oh, he dropped his. <laughs> he dropped his frag or whatever he had, pipe bomb maybe. All right, is there a melee weapon I can go hit this guy with? Let's smack him with a melee weapon. Don't mind if I do. All right, whatever. I'll just take some ammo. Okay. Where you at, buddy? Hi. Actually, I'm gonna take a shot. Yeah, keep. Come on, one shot. You can do it. You can do it. Shoot me. As stupid as that sounds. Okay, there you go. And now you die. Oh no. Now you die. Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time. You set up an ambush. Don't pick on the wrong guy. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I'll bet they do. 
All right. That'll eat through some of my supplies. Let's get another bandage used. Perfect. Unfortunately, thus far... Wait, rag inventory full? I thought I made more. Oh, right, I have to actually make them. Duh. It's too bad they almost always have rags, because that's going to make it much harder to keep finding things to use. I guess I could just throw Molotovs just into nowhere. Okay, well, I don't need scrap. I could use a melee weapon. Then I could make one of the spiked weapons if I get a baseball bat or a 2x4 or something like that. So that would be good. Oh, right. Let me uh, reload this thing. Okay. Well, looks like we got something back here. We have a 2x4. That's good enough for my purposes. I'll make you all spiky. Where did I kill those other guys? Well, I definitely killed one over here, although I think I looted this one. Also, uh, I need to remember to uh, shoot guys down that are hanging. In fact, I think there's one right to my right. There was. Maybe it's up higher? I don't know. All right, so I killed that guy, but I already looted him. What do you got? Scrap him. Ah, oh, crap, he's got scrap. Uh, crap. Well, uh, bolts take scrap. So let's make those. Okay. I think the lesson here is don't loot anything. Oops. Which is kind of odd. Basically, if it doesn't come off a human, I probably shouldn't loot it. Unless it's a med kit. I can't make med kits. I don't think. Can I make med kits? Uh, well, I probably can at some point, but I can't yet. Alright, he had a sterilizer. Good. Something I, I need. Can. Good. Give me more cans. Med kit. I'll take that. Uh, sterilizer. Can. Okay, and right here we have a uh, tourism collectible. The benefits of Bear Creek Hot Springs. Under tourism, of course. Uh, which one is it again? Ah, oh, here it is. The benefits of Bear Creek Hot Springs. A brochure found at the Bear Creek Hot Springs in Belknap. The benefits of hot springs. Natural hot springs have have long been held as therapeutic and healing by many cultures. According to folklore, just a soak in a hot spring can increase circulation, blood flow, and metabolism. While these, among many other purported healing properties, are widely debated, one thing is absolutely clear. Natural hot springs are great for you. From the salty healing waters of the Dead Sea to the famous Japanese hot springs, water's healing properties cannot be debated. But the benefits of natural hot springs are incalculable. Anyone who's exercised for a long period of time can tell you how relaxing a hot soak is, but with the natural minerals of the earth added into the mix, achy joints and pain be gone. The buoyancy of water combined with hot temperatures can work wonders on the body, especially after a long day. And with the natural addition of sodium, calcium, and chloride to our pools, you'll leave with your skin feeling more youthful than ever. So please, join us for a soak at the Bear Creek Hot Springs and wash your troubles away. 
Alrighty. Bunch of crap I don't want. I'm nervous about picking up anything anymore. I will uh, take some ammo though. That's good. Uh, do I even take kerosene? I guess so. I, I don't think guys drop you. kerosene very often. Uh, definitely don't want to pick up that rag though. Basically, just ammo and potentially kerosene. Beer bottles, those seem pretty rare on enemies too, so I'll pick that up. Not a bunch of guys drinking on the job. Oh, you've got ammo for me. And... Ah, sterilizer inventory full. How la- Oh, you know what I can do? It's super dumb. But I can just go, uh, step in a bear trap. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh no, where am I walking? I better watch out. Oh god! Why would I do this to myself? Don't worry, we have bandages. It's not a big deal. I just got clamped by a bear trap and I'm sprinting like two seconds later. Just just throw some cloth on it, it's fine. Alright, I have to actually craft a new one. Go. Alright, what do you got? You've got sterilizer, yay! Ammo, and... Oh my god, really? Ugh. Alright, from now on, I'm basically only healing with medkits in extreme situations. All the times. Oh, actually, I could just reset that trap and step in it. But there's another one, so... Ow! He's a masochist! Okay. But yes, any healing basically gonna be done with bandages from now on. Or until I get what I need to make med kits. Alright, we gotta make a new one. There we go. And I got my sterilizer. Okay. So. I think that's it. There should be some fuel right here. If yep, there's some fuel so I can take that on my way out. Oh, right. And uh, hanging guys. Those should count for me. Although, I don't know what happened that one still. Oh, actually, is he back? Weird. I must have looked in the wrong place before. Although, it's not showing as an X. I don't know if this will actually count, but let's shoot it down and see what happens. Anything for me? Nope, just wasted a bullet. Lame. Alright, so uh, apparently those corpses not going to do me any good. Let's go to the bunker. Which that. is right yeah. here. Knew you had one. Here, a map. Yes. Alright, and the Bear Creek Hot Springs ambush camp has been cleared. 1500 experience for that, getting close to another level. And Hot Springs Trust goes up. Haven't even been there yet. And over halfway to Trust Level 1. And the ambush camp hunter storyline has been updated. And we got a new recipe. That would be the baseball bat axe. Which looks awesome. Got some papers, notes on crafting. Yeah. Nothing else to do here, let's leave. Okay. <laughs> oh crap. No, leave me alone. I don't even want to kill him. Let's see if I can just leave. He's probably going to force my hand though. Well, maybe not. 
Let's see if I can just leave. I don't want to waste bullets on you. Oh, although I could get more bullets here. Well, screw it. Now I have to kill him. Or maybe not. Guess he gave up. Sweet. Alright. So, we quickly... Got to 50 uh, shots with this, and no, I think he's actually still chasing me. Ah, crap! Hey, that works pretty well. Oh, didn't you just see what I did to your buddy? Nope. Oh, come here. Ow. Actually, this is a good thing. I'm taking damage. Woohoo! Damage! My favorite thing. Okay. Can't believe I'm happy about taking damage. Yeah, meat. Alright, well, we got some meat. That's good. Alright, so this is double good. I can use a bandage. And then I can also repair my 2x4. Which will take scrap. So, scrap gone. And damage. Healed. Awesome. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Oh, I thought I saw some. Never mind. I thought I saw some corpses. No, I did see some corpses. I think these guys are hanging over here. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Okay, well, let's loot these. Actually, can I loot them without shooting them down? Oh, well, apparently not. Scrap! And box of nails. All right, so that ambush camp unlocked some of the map. You can see there's an infestation zone over here. There's a near research site. And there's a historical marker up there. I'm gonna go do that. Oh, right, I never refueled. Eh, whatever. I don't think we're gonna use too much getting up there. Another collectible historical marker. This one would be Three Finger Jack Viewpoint, Old Hot Fingers. Historical marker found at the Three Finger Jack Viewpoint in the Belknap Wilderness. Three Finger Jack is a Pleistocene era volcano in the Cascade Range. It's a glaciated shield volcano, a type of volcano formed around fluid magma flows, and consists mostly of basaltic andesite lava a type of volcanic rock containing around 55% silica. It's currently regarded as extinct. Sources agree that the volcano was first summited in 1923, but disagree who summited it. Some say it was a group of six boys from Farewell, Oregon. Others claim it was members of the Mazama tribe. Alright, and uh, pretty nice view up here. It's not bad. Definitely not as good as the vistas in other games, but not bad by uh, by any means. All right, so we're gonna wrap things up here, but first let's look at our storylines. So, oh, and I don't think I read this last time. 
the Marion Forks infestation. When we first started dating, me and Sarah used to ride through Marion Forks all the time, stop at Hungry Jim's for French toast and flapjacks. I remember, or I remember her saying, if I ever get married, it's going to be in that little church right over there. That woman always knew exactly what she wanted, and she always got it. All right, and the one we just updated is the ambush camp hunter. That would be the Bear Creek Hot Springs ambush camp. We've been out here before, me and Sarah, back in the day. We'd just come from the church in Marion Forks, going over all the wedding plans. Well, Sarah was going over the wedding plans. I was outside on the back of my bike, enjoying the sun. When she was done, she rode out here and ate lunch. Or we rode out here and ate lunch. It was beautiful back then. In a way, it still is. Uh, let's see, anything new for me to check out? Well, I definitely have, uh... I definitely have a new crafting, oh, many new crafting things. So I've got the stool leg axe. Takes a saw blade. Got the fence post axe. Basically all the other things that used to, you used to be able to combine with nails, but now saw blades. Two by four axe, baseball bat axe. Sweet. And apparently I have 46% of the crafting recipes. All right. Oh, and I better show you my map. So here we go. Uncovered this area. We got the big area over here. And for Belknap, we are currently 26% complete. All right. We're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.